Oh. So Kratos released a new update, 0.5.1, Rise and Shine, I think they're calling it. And it added a lot, including a bunch of texture changes. What did they do to my boy? Why do you look like this? So they changed a bunch of textures, and it's going to take a while to get used to it. But where is it? It's, it's, it's this. This thing right here. The elevator pulley. One of my favorite things to build with the Create Mod is an elevator, but making a good functional one was pretty hard until now. So the way I used to do it was using a rope pulley or maybe a piston, depending on. Okay, so this is one floor, and then we put the rope pulley here and build our little elevator. Now we'll super glue everything together. How do I change the speed? Wait, do I need a wrench to change the speed of a, of a creative motor? That's weird. No. What? Whoa. Okay. Uh, it's up here. Hello? Click and hold to edit. Click and hold. Oh my god! There we go. Okay. It's elevator time, baby. So we'll make this go forwards with a speed of 50. And that's going to, yeah, see, this is how you'd make an elevator, right? Apparently, that's not a thing anymore because we have the elevator pulley now. So I'll just get rid of this thing. Elevators require a horizontal redstone contact attached to the structure. What does that even mean? Oh, we can ponder. I don't understand anything. What's the contraption control? Right clicking the pulley assembles the elevator. Why? The stationary contact is the elevator contact. Okay, wait, so I'll make myself a elevator cabin. All right, here we go. This is our elevator. And then they use something else. What was it called? There it is. The contraption control. I have no idea what this is. Redstone contact. So the way I understood it is if you place a redstone contact on the elevator and then one outside of the elevator, once you assemble it, the one outside will become an elevator contact. <gasps> Ooh, okay, floor identifier. What? Okay, this is the second floor. Floor description. Oop. I'm gonna start violently crying. Okay, so wait, I think they powered one of them to call the elevator. If that's a... Th This makes me kind of sad, though, because I'm designing an elevator system for my survival world right now. And it's taken me so long to fix a system of, like, calling the elevator and being able to change floors and And then they add this. Well, I mean, I'm not complaining. It's very cool. I mean, look at it. I can get the elevator to go down here just by pushing a button. You can call the elevator. Also, now that I'm excited, I have something to announce. I've been seeing some people complaining about the fact that I get too excited about it. If this doesn't excite you, you can go. Leave right now. I don't want you. <laughs> Does it say poop? Wait, so what do I do with this thing? Can I decide? Oh, Ben P poop. I can choose what floor. Do I click it? I need to show this to Cactus right now. Okay, so I'm on floor one now. Let's say I want to go to floor zero. I'll scroll on this thing and then right click it and we go to floor zero. And then let's say, no, I don't want to go to floor number P. I want to go to floor number poop. Push this. We pass floor number one, baby. I wonder though, because you know, in a real elevator, if I call it to the bottom floor, elevator goes down, right? And then let's say I want to go to the second floor, but someone is on the first floor calling the elevator. And now that, that happens, right? So what will happen if I tell this to go to the second floor, but then call it to the first floor? You understand what I'm saying, right? Like, you know, you know. So if I tell it to go to the second and then I call it here, it's gonna turn around. Okay, so only one command at a time. Oh, this is amazing. What if I take this elevator contact here and then we just go up to build limit? Okay, so if we fly all the way up we should come across yeah there it is a glass block <laughs> we're on y level 311 now what happens if i place you here will you oh there's no way this will work no wait there actually is no way because i need the elevator pulley right Right. okay so let's print this boom i don't know if this oh <gasps> wait Boop! <laughs> Let's go to uh, floor two. There we go. Just, uh, I just realized this is going to take a while because we don't have full speed. Wait, let's go back up. Turn around. Are we going back up? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I keep forgetting. It's not on the back anymore and you need to right click and hold. Full speed. Here's a very cool thing. When the elevator stops, it stops slowly, right? And it doesn't place out the blocks. When you made elevators with a rope pulley, it just stopped really fast and the blocks replaced. Nine out of ten times, you fell through the floor and you died, right? <laughs> so create more elevators were dangerous at high speed. So let's see. If we go to floor number P, it starts off slowly smooth and hopefully it stops smooth that's what this is so great look at how fast we're going down and then it's gonna start breaking oh and it stops floor number three baby goodbye all right i mean i've barely looked at this update but so far this is my favorite edition and it'll probably stay that way because i love elevators but i saw something about a clip yes a clipboard keeps your notes makes you look more professional cut my hair walk the dog automatic creation of cool stuff i mean i will probably never use this <laughs> for sure it's, i mean it's cool and then of course we have to look at the water wheels because the water wheels have completely changed you know how the water wheels used to look like right they don't look like that anymore they look like this I mean, it's probably gonna take a while until i get used to this model here but the large one though the large one. This looks good. Mm. Let me give you some water. 
Ooh. Damn, everything is new to Look at the mechanical arm. This looks like a luxury item now. Hella clean, though. I like this a lot. You know, this feels exactly like when the trains came out. I just hopped into the game without reading anything, and then I understood nothing. What the f- Oh, this is the thing! Together with a netherite back tank, this can protect you from extreme heat. Alright, this thing is fully charged, so we should be able to breathe. Or not. What am I doing wrong? Oh, the pants! I don't have any pants. Oh, are there diving pants? There are no diving- Hello? Or is it just normal? Oh, it's just prob- Okay, normal leggings. Yeah, okay, there we go. Oh, I'm really fast as well. And the visibility, look at this. The question is then, because the diving boots, they keep me on the ground. Can I switch them out for normal netherite boots? No, th this works. Okay, but now I'm really slow. I guess we could look at the contraption controls, because I don't really understand. Is this only for the elevator? Oh, we can wonder. This does not look like an elevator. Actors and moving contraptions are always active by default. Yes, we know that. Can we turn them off? Oh, oh recent changes. Oh, look at this. What is that? A mechanical roller? <laughs> I want to look at the mechanical roller, though, before we get into the contraption control. What does the mechanical roller do? How did I miss this? What? It's like wheels. Do we put it on? Oh, oh, it's got a bunch of things. Roller mode, clear blocks and pave, straight fill below, sloped fill. Oh, is it for the trains? Yes, it is. Look at it. Clean up terrain. Around tracks or paths. Oh, it's for breaking blocks. I thought it was for placing blocks underneath the tracks. Does it do that as well? It does. Well, let's make a train then. I want to see how this works. I have one immediate question, and that is, will it replace the blocks underneath it? Or does it have to be air underneath for it to place the blocks? So they had three rollers in the thing. Okay, so I want you to clear blocks and pave. And then let's say we want gravel, maybe? And assemble. Will it place, even though there are already blocks? It, oh... Boom! So if I place a block here now, it's gonna break that block once we go into it. Yes! Will it break all of these? Because the roller is only down here, and the blocks up there are not even being touched by it. Okay, no. So what if I place a bunch of rollers then? Oh! Right, what else did we have? It said something about the recent changes. Yes. This confuses me. There are a bunch of cool things here. Elevator pulling, contraption controls, mechanical roller, and then there's a valve handle. <laughs> What did they do to the valve handle? Rotate components by a precise angle? That's obviously a mechanical bearing, right? Oh, wait, so what if I want to rotate this block with one degree? Can I do that by... Well, that didn't work. Having to go into this menu to change it? Uh, only place when anchor destroyed, yes. So now when I right-click this, it should only turn by one degree, because I chose that on the valve handle. Oh, and it did, look at that. That's cool. But you know, I'm not gonna lie, my favorite addition is the Ben P. Poop elevator. This is great. I'm gonna have so much fun with this. All right, I have one final question. I promise you this is the last one. Does this thing send out a redstone signal when the elevator is here? Because you see, this is a redstone contact, right? And the way redstone contacts work is that when they connect to each other, they send out a redstone signal. No redstone signal? redstone signal. And when the elevator is here, the redstone contact is touching the elevator contact and this thing lights up. So I wonder, floor number two. Nice. That's so seamless and nice, and I can change it in the middle, and it just smoothly... Oh. All right, you know what? I'm going to end the video there, because I want you to go and download the latest update. I mean, it's way more fun doing this on your own, discovering things, making stuff. But if you enjoyed the video, you can subscribe. That's, yeah, only if you want to, of course. I would never force you to subscribe, because that would be weird, right? I want to see you. I want to see you. Push the subscribe button right now. If you do not touch the...